What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kg 4 e and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It's been a whole day. You're getting another episode. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do some questing. Uh, you know, I think the main thing I have to worry about is food at this point. And I think the reason I have to worry about food is because I, I can't really mine during the night. And I want to mine during the night. Uh, but like I said last episode, or maybe it was the episode before, when you're mining during the night, or when you're mining at all, anytime you're doing anything that takes physical exertion... Uh, it, it really messes you up with your food. So um, I'm going to try not to mine during the night until I've got somewhat of a supply of food. And I also looked around my base and I didn't see any iron nodes, which means for those of you who don't know, whenever there's an iron node on the surface, underneath the surface, that there's an iron vein, like a huge, huge, awesome iron vein, right? That usually goes on forever, okay? So the fact that there's no iron nodes on my base is, is a bit unfortunate, it's something I probably should have looked for when I was when I was setting up a, a base, but it should be okay. It should be all right. Do I have any points? No, I don't. Okay. I did get Lucky Looter 2, and I think my next point will be Lucky Looter 3. Let's kill this guy, because I do need some... Oh, oh, hold on. We're going to get him. He's going to get tired. Oh, I hate it when they run in the grass. I can't see them. And now I can't do it. See, there's an iron node right there. That's what I'm looking for around my base, but I didn't... I didn't see any, unfortunately. Did he go left or right? I'm going to go right, and if he didn't go right, then he, he got away. Good job, rabbit. Good job. Oh, here we go. This chicken ain't getting away. I'm going to get him. Chickens don't seem as bad. Okay, well, there you go. All right, so I actually had eggs left over. For the first time, maybe in the history of Seven Days to Die, I didn't have the meat. Right? I had the eggs. I didn't have the meat. It's nuts, right? That doesn't happen often. Well, I was just going to kill this guy off camera, and he went ahead and dropped the loot bag for me. Ooh, a beaker. That's really helpful. Awesome. So, is Lucky Looter doing anything for me? I was always under the impression... I was always under the impression that the recent updates kind of messed up Lucky Looter. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting lucky, and it has nothing to do with Lucky Looter. I don't know, but I'm getting some pretty dope stuff right now, so... That makes me very, very happy. All right. And you are not getting up. There you go. All right. So we should be pretty close. Eh, we're kind of close. I, I unfortunately did not get a buried supply quest, which kind of sucks. Um, but these quests do give uh, money, and you can use that money to buy food. I mean, you guys saw my trader. He's got, she, she was a she or he? I think it was a he. He's got an absolute ton of food. All right, I'm going to avoid these two because this is kind of slowing me down a little bit. Oh, boy. Here we go. No stamina. Hold on. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Come on. Come on, chicken. I know I know. this is slowing me down as well, but this is something I kind of need. Damn. All right. I'm going to stop chasing him because we'll chase him all over the freaking world just for five meat. I could use that five meat, but it's not really that big of a deal right now. All right, so let's get to the quest. I remember this place. All right, now in the interest of getting the quest done, I am not going to clear it out first. I'm just going to do the quest. I won't double, double loot it. All right, looking good. All right, so there should be a window to go in. Yep, there we go. Loot this up. Very good. Two duct tape is awesome. Alright. We'll be alright. Probably. Ow. Okay. If it's only one, it's not the end of the world. Ooh, got one of those monster energy drinks. That's what I call them, because that's my energy drink of choice. I don't drink them a lot. Only if I'm feeling like I need it. Probably, like, maybe have one a week or something. But sometimes you just, you know, kind of need it. Alright, we should probably buy stuff. Or not. Ooh. Okay. More lockpicks is always good. Oh, boy. Alright. Let's, let's use this thing. I know, I know a lot of you guys love this thing. It's it's doing work. I mean, I'm on warrior difficulty, and this thing is... 
This thing is literally doing work. I can't- I'm kind of surprised. I don't remember it being this good. I just remember shooting zombies and then, like, laughing. And, like, not even caring. Anybody else in here? Nope. Just that one outside. It'll take them a while to get in. Oh, freaking vultures. I don't mind the zombies. I'm just concerned about the vultures. Let's see. I don't have anything to hit the vultures with anyway. I don't have any uh, arrows or... Yeah, you should probably keep the bow and arrow, at least for the vultures. Because I think it's like a one-shot a one -shot kill on the vultures. But you know what? There may not be any up here. Vultures are going to be the bane of your existence. In the early parts of this game. Uh, 10% damage against deer. Okay. Whoa. Alright, it's pretty dope loot. Lucky looter might not be as useless as I thought. Maybe this will be the series where I learn that Lucky Looter and the, you know... Uh, what do you call it? The Blender Bus? The Blender Suck, as I, like, as I usually call it, are pretty worth it. There we go. What people usually do with this thing is they line them up on their hot bars. Then they can just go from one to the other because it takes so long to fill them up. Or to reload them. Alright, what do we got here? All the crap I was talking about bows, I think I'm still gonna... Uh, you know what? Fine. The fuck was that? It was a landmine, wasn't it? Hold on. No, they blew up a car! You fat bastard. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna close that so we don't get disturbed while we're looting. Yeah, it's pretty good loot right there. Oh, show. Can you mod this thing? Oh, you can. Can I put a silencer? Dude, how awesome would it be if I could put a silencer on the blunderbuss? That would just... I think that would break the physics of the world so badly that the world would just implode on itself. Okay. Now we gotta return to Trader after this. Alright, that's a nice piece of loot right there. And it's time to return to the Trader. Man, it took me forever to get here. Encumbrance sucks. I also, probably during the night, I'm gonna think about, like, trying to start my way towards making a bicycle. Um, I should probably see if this guy's stations are operational. But before I do that, let's go in and uh, turn in the quest. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Alright. That, um... That's got to be 9 mil. Yeah, I'm going to take the 9 mil. Got any uh, jobs? Fetch, fetch. What? Dude, where's the buried supplies, man? Come on, now. Alright, I think I have some stuff I would like to sell to him. Uh, We don't need silver for anything. Or gold. At least I don't think so. I'll sell that. And I think that's just... I don't use silencers. But I'm going to keep the uh, mod just because I got some ideas for the mod. Alright. Looking good. Cha ching Thanks, buddy. That's right. Cha ching indeed. All right, let me hit my drop chest. I'm going to put everything in my drop chest, and we're going to go do the next quest. Look at me. I got a rabbit. Awesome. I think there's a zombie around here, too. Making their way towards me, maybe? I don't know. Let's just gut this rabbit. I got to worry about it. All right, so we do have some meat. We'll be able to make some more bacon and eggs when we go home. I think I might mine through the night tonight. We will have to see. All right, this is my next quest. Let's grab this gore pile. I'm going to throw out the potassium nitrate. I have a potassium nitrate mine right by my house. Like, I'm going to be tripping over it when I dig underground. All right. Let's do this. Oh, super water. Oh. That's odd. Is that supposed to, like, lead to somewhere? <laughs> this is super water. This stuff is legit dope. Love this water. Okay, I don't like the fact that there's a doghouse out here. Oh, boy. Hey, get up. What the hell? This will wake your ass up. How you like me now? Okay, she doesn't care. Because she's dead. Oh, boy. Careful. Try not to use the big swings there, Cage. K 
cage, old boy, old buddy. And we're done. I will hold on to that point for now. Oh, good. I got a poncho. So if I end up in the desert again. And I got glasses. I think those are perception glasses. What's up, bro? Oh, he didn't like that. Well, you're going to like this even less. <laughs> are those perception glasses? No, damn it. More fortitude glasses. Um, I got to... Man, my inventory fills up really, really quick. Oh, let's fill these out. Okay. Bam. Right, we did that. More super water. I love it. All right, it's going to be a little dark in here. One thing I do not like to do is make dark videos, so I'll brighten this up a bit for you guys. It's because you're inside and there's no lights. It makes sense, right? All right. Now we can grow weed, I think. Or maybe it was hops, I don't know. Okay, uh, something in there. So all I gotta do here is get the supplies. Should I just get the supplies in GTFO? I don't think so. Okay, what do we got here? Alright, don't need that. Probably could have read that for experience, but that's alright. Don't need either of those. Take the water. The water. Okay. Uh, I should probably take those guys apart, by the way. I should probably take those bodies apart. Oh. Thought you were dead. But you're not dead. That was the weakest limp dick throw ever. And it freaking took him out. <laughs> He's got to be embarrassed. He's got to be embarrassed about that that performance. Oh, uh, boy. Inventory. Wouldn't need that. And I think I'm going to throw this out. I'm going to need the rotten flesh eventually. But I think I'll get plenty of it during the game. Like, naturally. So, I don't think I have to, like, hold on to it right now. Ooh, a bookcase. My first bookcase. Uh, leg shots. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, I am doing... This is going to be... The sniper thing is going to be my thing. Because I'm going to be doing perception, so... Look at this dumbass. Mm -mm -mm. Loot that. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. I still need those, so... Gotta make sure we loot... The thing is, usually I don't loot everything because I'm playing the game in such an advanced state that looting this stuff is kind of pointless. But I really should be looting stuff right now because we're in the beginning of the game. Where are you going, dude? I think I broke his brain. Oh, I really broke his brain now. Damn, little Johnny lives a lot. Die already, you piece of crap. Alright, let's go ahead and repair and repair. And there should be something nice under here. Alright, beautiful. And there might be something nice behind this. Uh, not so much. Right in your chin, bro. Oh god, look at him roll down the freaking stairs. That's hilarious. Oh, right in his chest. I caved in his chest. Like Robert Baratheon. Alright. So I got the supplies, but I think I'm going to continue and complete the, the building. Alright. Oh, that's some crappy sink. Uh, vultures? I'm not sure which way I gotta go. I guess I gotta go this way. 
Ooh, uh, wait, do we have batter? Nope, we got crap. Cool. Now we got armor on our feet. I don't like being on the roof. Really don't. Not at this stage of the game. Boom! Guys, you, congratulations, universe, you win. I actually am enjoying the blunderbuss. Oh, boy. I'm never going to hear the end of this. Ow, you dick. What's your problem, bro? Take that. Um, I usually save these to wrench, but my inventory is killing me right now, so I'm going to... Just turn it into leather. Um, I don't need three paper. I don't need four cloth. I'll hold on to four cloth for now, though, because I would like cloth. Damn, my man. All right, and we are at the end. Yeah, pretty. these tier ones are nice because they're pretty quick, right? All right, let's see what we get here. Not bad. No, hold on. You know what? Lucky Looter 3. Adds 50% loot bonus and looting is faster. Alright, and what do we got? Alright. Uh, scrap that, and I will take the rest. Now, am I going to wear any of this stuff? Um, that's a no-no. Although, I would probably... Do I want to repair that and sell it? I don't really sell for that much. I'm going to scrap it. Um, that is the same as I have, and I will scrap it. That's the same as I have. And scrap it. I'm going to have to start repairing these, but I don't have a ton of repair kits right now. Alright. Cool. Let's go turn in the quest. You know what? I completely forgot to check the stations, so let's do that now. Alright, so this one's not working. A lot of sand in it. This one's not working. Uh all right, so we got unlucky with those two. Um, let's take a look at the forge and the chemistry bench. Crap, I don't know where they are. Oh, here's the forge. Um, pretty nice stuff in it, at least. I'll leave that barrel there. I don't really need that. Um, I'll check the chemistry station later. We're not going to... Well, actually, we might... Having the chemistry station early is good. Because if we have one that we can use, we can turn bones into glue. And... Turning bones into glue is much, much more efficient if you have a chemistry station, which we don't. All right, well, that's, that's a bit of a bummer. No working stations. See, that's why, you, that's why I feel like I'm kind of forced into taking some of, the, uh, some of the intellect skills. Now, I know, I know. Well, I found this on the first day, and I found that. I know, but not everyone finds all that stuff, and, okay, like, you know, bugger. a lot of this stuff is really needed. Um, urban combat? No, I don't care about that. Let's take the Magnum rounds. Well, I am doing... I am going to be doing, um... Shotguns event. I mean... Duckbill? Yeah, nah, let's take, the, let's take these. Alright, what else you got? Alright, I'm going to leave those alone. I'm going to come back because we're going home now. So I'm going to leave that stuff alone. And I will uh, grab a quest in the morning. And hopefully he'll have a buried supplies ones. Because, you know... I don't think there's anything I want to sell here. So, let's head back to base with my over-encumbered ass. Oh my god, this is going to take... How far close am I? Mm. Alright, I'm going to hit the drop chest. I don't want to be running home in car... I, I mean, I guess I could. I mean, we'll make it home in time. It's not really that big of a deal. And I'm going to want to take some of this stuff, too. What don't I want to take? Ugh, hold on. All right, let's take, I'm going to take care of this one right here. Here I am back in my base, and I am cooking up some more bacon and eggs and water. And then I'm also going to make more red tea. There we go. Oh. Did I just hear something? I know I heard that wah, you know, thing, but I thought I heard some... I thought I heard some zombies, too. But, I don't know. I don't think it's... Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. Uh, this is all my food, by the way. 
And over here is all my not food. Uh, let's take this and this. Because those two go in the food chests. I am ducking. I think ducking makes me take uh, make less noise. Even when I'm going in and out of uh, inventories. Because zombies can hear that. So. Alright. So that's all looking pretty good. We got a bunch of stuff in there. Let's go ahead and make two more of these pocket mods. And I'd also like to make a forge. But I don't know if I have what I need for it. Nah, nah, that's not enough stone. I'm gonna have to mine stone through the night. I don't have the duct tape either, though. So I guess we're not gonna be making a forge right now. Is there anything I can make with iron? Uh, nothing I really care that much about. Yeah. Uh, nah. Nothing. Well, if I if I duct tape, I can make an iron pick. But stamina might be a problem with that. Um, I do have two levels now. I could either go hard into lucky looter, like hardcore. Or I can switch gears a little bit, make a better, um, I could be a better fighter with Sex Rex and Skull Crusher. Or I, and I could also set up for minus 69, minus 69 mother load. Or I could start working for the bicycle. Uh, that is, that is a tough freaking choice. I'm not going to lie. That is a, that is tough. Um, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> I'm going to think about it. I really don't know where I want to... I'll probably... Won't do Lucky Looter. It'll probably be either... I mean, I should probably go for the bicycle. Honestly. Yeah, let's go for the bicycle. Alright. So, um... The motorcycle is what I'm going to... The mini bike is what I'm going to want to go for. I will be okay with just the mini bike if that's what I get. Um, in order to get the motorcycle or the 4x4 and all that stuff, I will wait to be able to get it in other ways. Getting the, getting the uh, recipes, buying them or whatnot. But I am going to go for Mini Bike Master. Now, in order in order to make the mini bikes, I'm going to use Nerd Glasses to get my intellect up to four, which means I my intellect only needs to be three. Right, go with the bicycle for now. And I think the bicycle requires... Yeah, it requires uh, freaking crafting benches. Uh, I forget what they're called. Bench. Yeah, workbench. So I'm either going to have to find the book, which I never do, or put a point into it, and the point would be... Is it Advanced Engineering 2? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm just going to have to keep that in mind. Alright, what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is I'm going to do some building. Um, it might be a little risky, but um, that's okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and make another... About another 25 of these. Alright, and then we'll t take a look around. Oh, we got a guy right out there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ladder. Uh, we'll make 12 ladders. And I wonder if I should go up top or... Yeah, let's, let's build from the top. Let's build from the top. I kind of like that idea. I went ahead and made the beginning of a mine here. So I will be doing some mining during the night. And there we go with that. And there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're going to have to take care of this guy. He's going to... He's going to be a problem. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, stay focused. No, you're not... You're not walking away, bro. Commentary. Trying to stay focused. Okay. Took his ass to school. One is not that big of a deal. If we get two or more, it could be a... It could give us um, a bit of a problem. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and start building. And I think I'm just going to build mostly the floor. For now. It looks like I'm going to have to dig a lot of it as well. Yep. Going to have to dig. And we gotta be careful because we could get run up on. I don't have a like a, I, I need what I need is an oh shit gun, you know. I have a blunderbuss and the blunderbuss is okay, but it's not really a, it's not a great oh shit gun. I need no shit gun, and um, like a pistol would work, a magnum, a shotgun, a regular shotgun. The double red shotgun is not a great oh shit gun either, although it is better than the blunderbuss, not by much. So I'm gonna do this. Put these down here. 
All right, so this is pretty cool. I might be thinking, oh man, all this digging, it's so it's so slow and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna need the clay anyway. So it's not, it might be slow, but it's not worthless. All right, I think I'm just about to upgrade everything. Um, yeah, that's good. Well, no, let's go. Let's go a little farther. Let's go a little farther, and then we're gonna have to upgrade. I'm gonna have to make a, a ultimate design decision on the sides of the house pretty soon, and we're also gonna have to work on the horde base um, relatively soon. I have an idea how I'm gonna do the horde base. It's a very loose idea. It's gonna it's gonna be like a center column, like a center tower, and it's gonna have like walkways all around it um, to shoot at the zombies. And I'm going to try and line up the zombies to take advantage of the perception tree. Uh, the perception tree has a thing called penetrator. And if you line up the zombies, right, you can shoot a bullet and it can go through multiple, multiple zombies. And I heard it's really, really effective. I've never used it before either, so it should be, um, it should be pretty fun to check out for sure. Okay, here we go. All right, let's upgrade and see how much experience we get for this. I could almost make a claw hammer. Maybe I should. I don't know. I mean, if I have a duct tape. But do I want to spend the duct tape on a claw hammer? I don't know. I, I, I really don't think I do. Hopefully I'll find one. Is, is there an um, upgrade tool? No, okay. I wasn't sure. I get, Sometimes I get my, um, my survival games mixed up. <laughs> so, this is the way it is. So this is the part of the game where I just look down and I rest my I rest my phone on my mouse, the left um the left mouse button, and then I just go get something to eat or something. I I guess I can't leave the game completely. I can look at my phone or maybe do something on the internet, but I can't leave completely because if zombies start coming in the area, I, I could have some issues. So Alright guys, I do think I'm gonna call this one here. By the way, this is my mind in case you couldn't tell where I was. Here, let me show you really quick. There you go. And there's the mine. All right, guys, I am gonna call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.